What it comes down to, though, is the size and scope of government. We have more cronyism today because we have more government today. If you have government involved with much more, then suddenly decisions that, and I'm not saying markets are perfect. I think they're damn good and they're, unlike government, they're self-correcting and I'll defend them, though, though I won't claim they get it right every time. But, but, but government is not self-correcting, right? Government, I, I, bigger and bigger government makes them involved with more and more, which makes the pie, the prize of cronyism, larger and larger. So every time we increase the scope of, of government, competition on something that is beyond quality and price, let's just put it uh, obliquely and politely like that, there's far more scope for it. So the simplest way we, in we increase cronyism is we increase the power of government in a field it's already in, like financial regulation, or we move them into a field that they are in, but, th but now they're much more in, like Obamacare. Um, when we increase government, we increase the scope to influence government in people's favor, and everyone is, is rationally self-interested. Uh, once the government is involved with something, even if you're completely an honest person and not looking for special favors, you have to go to defend yourself from these things. In that hypothetical example where I'm sitting in a senator's office and my main goal is to tax Arthur more, cert suddenly Arthur may, may not be a cronyist or looking for a government handout, but now he has to spend some of his resources and his right. time going to the government and defending himself. So it does create this, uh, but, but, uh, but the root cause is still the size and scope of government. There's no single one magic bullet. As that grows, cronyism grows.